Hey everybody, Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are for Richard at Gromit's Cutlery. You know, I keep forgetting. Oh, I'm sorry, Richard. Richard has a new uh, Knives and Carry. That's what it is. Gromit's Knives and Carry. We'll update the card. I promise, I promise. But he's been in Moreno Valley now for quite some time. He has been doing exceedingly well, and I think he's going to add a new location. So I hope that happens for you, Richard. I'm just happy that sales are good. I'm happy that you're doing well. That uh, means customers are enjoying our product. You're doing a good business, and that makes us, uh, that helps us stay in business and uh, take care of our employees, and, and the circle of life goes round and round. Um, these knives today, you know, usually I'm excited for knives, but these knives as a group, they look beautiful together. They look like they all belong together. So I'm excited to show them to you today. Uh, he, uh, Richard's at 22500 Town Circle, the parcel, or the suite number is 2016. Again, he's in Moreno Valley, California. His email is richard at grommetscutlery.com. Telephone number is 951-697-6468. Let's see what's headed his way. Oh, yeah. Micro Praetorian with Blue Predator, and that is not a satin blade. That's just normal, our new tumble process. Let me hold that in the light here. Is that better? Mm -hmm. oh, it's hard to get it. It's kind of a Blue Vio Predator, S35 tumble drop point, standard hardware, and brushed clip. So you just, I mean, when you have something like this, you just don't need to do much. I like it nice and classic, straight up silver and blue. We have two Praetorian Slim Flippers. This one here is PVD with blue highlights. It has a blue pin striping around the handle and spring. So the difference between pin striping and uh, brushed perimeters, the pin stripe hits this chamfered edge in between the handle and perimeters, and the brush perimeters go all the way around the outside. Just a normal blue clip. You see the over travel's got blue and sort of the pivots. The second Praetorian Slim Flipper is also pin striped. It's a little bit more you know, this, this looks to me like a cadet knife. It's like a West Point uniform. It's so just classic and timeless. And that, that bronze pinstriping on blue, I never would have thought it looked so cool. And it just does. And the bronze clip with the blue letters looks like it was made for the knife. Just gorgeous. I have a Praetorian Genesis T here. S35 PVD drop point. Blade faced and galaxy flamed handle. We have flamed hardware, PVD breaker, PVD spring, and then blue pin striping. It's really cool to see that color get pulled out and a faced and galaxy flame clip. And that looks just stunning against the black. It's just a good frame for it. Super cool. Full size Praetorian T here, blacked out. This is one of the ones we laid a little uh, texture in the fuller group before the coating. It's subtle and just super cool. 3V Tonto Blackout Praetorian T full size. The next Praetorian T is an S35 PVD Tonto. It is a Predator Sculpt, Twisted Predator Sculpted Handles, PVD coated, and then back in house for brush and blue. And this is a challenging thing to do. The sculpting is cool enough, and then the coating, and then we come back, and it just has to be delicately removed on the, on the uppermost facets and anodized, and at any given moment, um, if they slip or nick it, it's over. And there goes the coating and there goes everything. So it's just a beautiful knife with a lot of extra details. The next Praetorian T full size is a Vulcan S35 drop point. A lot of beautiful colors in there. And we're always, you know, typically when our resellers order Vulcan blades, they allow us to kind of pick and choose colors. And what that does is, you know, we can, the blades when they come through, they're all unique, they're all different. It allows us to say, well, this is gonna look beautiful with bronze and violet, and it just certainly does. NP3 breaker, flamed hardware brush and flame clip. No, I take that back, it's PVD on the breaker. Hard to see in the lighting here sometimes. USMC fighter flipper, black blade handle spring, flamed hardware, brush and flamed pommel, brush and flamed clip. A blackout USMC fighter flipper with blue pin striping. That's crazy. Real subtle. It almost looks blue vio. USMC fighter flipper. And then the last USMC fighter flipper, new process, tumble on the blade handle spring, flamed hardware, clip and pommel. Just feels super sexy. 
And I have a Marauder H, <clears throat> S35 PVD Tanto blade, peaks and valleys on the handles. You know, the Marauder H, it is uh, a little bit more challenging to find sculpting that fits the knife really well. Peaks and valleys, falling leaf, hammered, anything that is kind of a nice texture to the knife is wonderful on it. Predator is very hard to make work on this. Lightning, hard to make work. Lazy River, anything that needs movement across the whole handle. But the peaks and valleys looks lovely. And then we have violet hardware and a brush and violet clip. Beautiful combination. And then the last one on the table, this was a Legacy Services for Richard. Um, it, it's an S90V uh, Marauder Tonto blade, full thick, so 0 0.260 inch thick. I don't know what it was when it came in, but it's now super badass sexy, that's what I know. It's got kind of a bronze base to it, uh, a, a copper, copper bronze. It's gator belly, it's got that little shark tooth fullers, um, I'm sorry, uh, finger grooves, and it's got a little pinstripe around the outside. So gator belly, kind of a copper bronze, PVD hardware clip, breaker, and blade. So a lot of very cool details, the, the kind of a general theme here, dark and brooding for most of the knives, a couple silver and blue, but I would call this the dark and brooding batch, dark and brooding mysterious batch. Um, super cool, I couldn't be happier for Richard, he's doing a bang up job for us in Moreno Valley, California, and it wouldn't happen obviously if we didn't have awesome customers such as yourselves, so keep watching the videos, stay tuned, and until the next time, I'm out.